All right. Hello, everyone. It looks like we are live one minute early. I actually was just so excited to get this thing out of the way. And I just, I mean, not even out of the way. I meant to like, uh, I was so excited to get to this point so we could uh, to go ahead and unbox this Ravnica Allegiance box that we've been planning to unbox for some time now. And uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. If you guys are a Patreon, you have a chance of winning the Mythics, Rares, and uh, the first 36 Uncommons out of this box. And the foils are also included for that rarity. Uh, good luck to all you Patreons. It is officially 8 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and crack it open. If you are not a Patreon and you are watching this unboxing, make sure you sign up because we do this every month. Uh, just for being a Patreon, you don't have to pay anything extra. And you also get rewards for being a Patreon, such as booster packs, sleeves, and all kinds of other crazy things. So we're going to go ahead and my camera guy is going to make sure he gets us. I'm not exactly sure. Camera guy is confused. If you say something in the chat that we can't understand, we will just try to pronounce it and that that'll be that. All right, so let's go ahead and crack through this box. We're hoping for some crazy good mythics that we can give away. All right, we'll put this here, this here. All right, we got a Windstorm Drake. Frailed Mystic, which is an amazing, amazing, amazing draft card. Essence Capture, and our rare is a Emoliation Shaman. And we got a Rakdos Guildgate and a Spirit Token. Make sure you guys are commenting and telling me what you guys like, dislike, and everything in between so we can make this channel even bigger, better, and everything in between. All right. So we have an Enraged Center Talk, a Drill Bit, Collision, and our rare is Rampage of the Clans. And we will be doing uh, World of Spark comes out. Um, I'm able to get a booster box at pre-release, so that will be the um, that will be the next box we do for Mar uh, May first. Is a uh, War of the Spark booster box. So make sure you are a Patreon if you'd like to uh, like to have a chance to to get the rewards. I don't even know how to speak English anymore. Gateway Sneak. I'm just so excited to open this. I'm trying to also think about the future at the same time. Geyer Engineer, Azorius Skyguard, and our rare, Variety Circle. All right. So, yes, May 1st, we'll be opening the Box of War of the Spark. If you're a Patreon, you have a chance of winning any of those Mythics, Rares, or Uncommons we pull. All you have to do is be a Patreon, and you're automatically entered in a chance to win. All right. Biogenic Upgrade. Galloping Lizard, Cry of the Canarium, and our rare is a Plaza of Harmony for all you gate decks out there. I, I have tons of fun playing the gate deck. I play on it on Arena because, of course, uh, the Hydroid Crasis are like $30, $40, so yeah, not thinking about spending, what, so what would that be for four copies, because that deck pretty much always runs four copies. So like at 48 like $160, no way. Sundering Shaman, Gate Colossus for that gate deck, Flames of the Razbor, and our rare is a Incubation Druid, an incredibly powerful card. I knew the second this card came out, it would be insane, and it has, in fact, been. There's a million ways to put a plus one counter on this card so that you can use it uh, at three mana, so... Uh, you don't even need that adept ability at all. I don't think I've ever even seen someone adept that card. All right. So we got Hactobat. Tin Street Dodger. Sphinx of the Guild Pack. And a Bedeck Bedazzle. Ashore Dross has missed any good pulls so far. We just pulled an Incubation Druid. That is a really hot card from this set. 
our camera guy is supposed to be reading these comments. I'm but sorry, you were already looking. We'll make sure the second they come up, you read them. Hey. All right, blow through the comments here, and we will go to a dispose deploy, a rally to battle. A Fireblade Artist, a very, very awesome draft card. And our rare, a Absorb. A card that I did not necessarily think would get much play because of uh, the fact of gaining three life and countering for three. And you can already counter for three with plenty of other amazing guards. That's def nice, definitely a nice point. You following me, camera down. <laughs> yes. So, um, so yeah, I didn't think Absorb would be crazy good because there's better cards that to uh, better cards to counter and the three life gain is um, Sinister Sabotage was one of them I thought would be better than this card because it's the same three life except it's uh, or same three cost. It takes two blue and a colorless, so it doesn't even take this hard of a, a requirement. It counters the spell and then you get to surveil. I think it's particularly better, but I have been seeing that in that. Uh, what is that? That's a fairy. What? Guys. I don't know if the pack was... If, if you guys saw when I opened it uh, just now. I don't know if that you guys saw that. But I definitely just opened this with a card in backwards. Still common, but that was pretty weird. I gotta admit. A backwards card. I've never seen that happen before. We got a Mortify, a very sick uncommon. I love the artwork on that card. Another Windstorm Drake. Dovin's Acuity. And a Hollowed Fountain. Congratulations to whoever gets this rare lot because that is a sick, sick, sick rare. Shockland for Azorius. Also, you guys, make sure you comment about War of the Spark. I just watched the trailer earlier today and was overly hyped. Could not wait. Cannot wait. For War of the Spark to come out. It is going to be an insanely awesome set. Alright. We have Concentrate and Consume. We have Orzov Enforcer. We have Rumbling Ruin. And our rare is a Precognitive Perception. Overhyped doesn't cover it. Overhyped? Are you, you mean you are beyond overly hyped? Made you shot your pants. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm relatively new to Magic. I've only been playing since Core 19. And that trailer made me want to uh, go out and buy as many Magic cards as possible. So, I gotta say, that was a sick, with the uh, Lincoln Park cover. Oh. All right, we have another Geyer Engineer. A Combine Guild Mage. A tower defense and our rare is a biomancer. Still waiting for that foil mythic that we will pull out of this box and make someone a very happy Patreon. Uh, all right, go through the uncommons. Clamor Shaman is our first uncommon. <laughs> Clamor Shaman Uncommon. Un Azorius Skyguard. Regenesis. And our rare. A, a Mythic. The Hellkite. Sick card. I mean, the artwork on that card is already uh, absolutely amazing. Asha's ne Nethric Biomancer seems to be getting popular in standard ATM. Is it really? I haven't seen it too much play. A 1 cost 1-1. One, one. That you pay two to add that one, and if there's one or more put on this card, you can draw a card to discard a card. I guess there's decks that could run it. Um, we gotta put our mythic to the side over here. Uh, yeah, there's definitely decks that could run it. I just don't. I mean, uh, I think that there's better one drop than that, especially that. Um, oh, what is that? The instance and sorcery one that the. Um, oh, what is that card called now? The uh, Pterodactyl card that uh, it's, uh, adepts for every instance or sorcery costs one less, and it's like an absolute beast. We'll probably pull one here. 
Bolrak the Clan Crusher. Light up the stage. Essence Catcher. And our rare is Electro Dominance. Again, I love this Ravnica artwork. It is just absolutely insane. All right, let's go. Next pack, my camera guy decided to fly away. I'll be right back. He said everything is more important than magic, and so I had to kick him away. Wait, your favorite is uh, Electro Dominance? This card, really? I mean, the artwork's freaking sick. I don't, I don't love the card. I tried it out in a couple different builds and did not love it. All right. Archway Angel is our first uncommon. Let's see. I pulled it, and my friends sent that could have potential in the future. Oh, it could have potential. Yeah, that card, it, it's a sick card. I just don't know how much. Uh, I, I tried it in multiple different ways, in different decks in current standard. Didn't love it. And so you guys know, we film this in my garage, and there's people walking their dog outside of my garage, making a lot of noise. So we're just going to ignore them. So Archway Angels are first uncommon. Wayfinder is our second. Our third is Blood Mist Infiltrator. And our rare is a Warrant Warden. Okay, now that's, that is my wife out there. Okay. So, so now we have my wife making noise. We have everything else. So it is what it is. Maybe it's good luck. It's good luck, good karma. We got the new dog, so it's good. Nice. All right, let's go through these uncommons. Senate Guild Mage. Hey, camera guy, come back here. I can't read these comments and do all of this. Just want them to be quiet. So, people, okay, Jonah, come here. Yeah. Camera guy, get over here. We got, we got, we got to do this right for these people. Damn. Shark to crab is our second. Oh, I really like the artwork on this card, by the way. A shark, octopus, fish, crab thing. Yeah, I, crab. Super cool. And uh, I, I got it in when we did draft, like last week or two weeks ago, and it dominates. Shark to crab. Sky tether, another uncommon. And. Blood Crypt as our rare. Woo! And second, uh, Shockland. So now we got two. Let's go dig up our other one here. So we were able to pull two Shocklands. I don't know what the box average is. And then our first foil is a common Shimmer of Possibility. Very, very nice looking. I mean... Sometimes foiling, sometimes feature. foiling is garbage on these cards, and other times, as long as this card doesn't curl, it is. I mean, it almost looks like card scratched up, and it almost looks like what the the foiling is like. And yeah, that is actually going to be one lucky patron. Hopefully, it's you. So uh, I know you are a faithful patron, so I hope it is you that wins it. I mean, I can't say I hope it's you because that's favoritism. Favoritism. Jace is in the shimmer. Is he really? Um, check that out. I don't think so. I see people walking. I don't know if that is Jace. It's hard to see, but I, I don't believe so. It's very nice, though. He is. Okay. So he is. That is Jace. I'm so used to seeing him with the hood up and the... Because when I came... When I came into uh, the game, it, the, the, the card of the hour was the Jace the Mind Sculptor with the hood up and everything. So that's how I'm used to seeing Jace. You okay. Let's go. We got Mortify again. Gruul Beast Mesta. Very, very, uh, very cool um, draft card. Had a lot of fun playing that in draft. I've, I've probably drafted this. Um, I did two pre-releases and about six drafts with this so far, so I've had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, scrambling claws. It's not very often we see them from behind. 
to be fair. Wait, Jace from behind? So, I'm so confused about this card. I have so many questions. Okay, I'll, I, I will. I will. I will figure that out later. Scrambling Claw is our uncommon and our rare. Oh, how about a Mythic Planeswalker? Dovin the Grand Arbiter, which, sorry, Dovin, you're going to kind of get uh, overshadowed when you re-come out in War of the Spark. I assume you're getting another copy in War of the Spark, so I'm sorry. Jace is in the reflection of the water. Yeah, I, I agree. I totally get that that's there, but at least on the foil version, it looks like it's just the city of Ravnica. I can't see Jace's, like, unless it's... Is this Jace down here? Hold on. Is that Jace down at the bottom of the card right down there? Is that supposed to be Jace? Because when you look at the rest of the card, it just looks like the city of Ravnica. I'm going to turn the card upside down. See, I see the city of Ravnica. Is that supposed to be Jace? Let me know. All right, so... Oh! Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. This is one, one lucky Patreon. Foil... Shockland, hollowed fountain. Pull them in draft. Holy crap! Agreed, the foil is tough, but he's walking with someone. Oh Let's my see. god, guys! That is talk about a lucky Let's Patreon. And this goes to the rare Patreon with the other Shocklands. So this person paid anywhere between five and fifteen dollars for all of these so, cards so far. This one. Oh, we'll have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help that Patreon out right now. They said. I'm going to go down into my little drawer and grab a sleeve Face for reveal. it. All right, guys. Oh, that is just, that is just insane. Oh, that looks amazing. I don't want to give it up, but I must. It will go with other... Shock lambs right here. I don't even play, to be honest. I don't even play uh, Azores, so I would never even use it. But it's just so, so nice looking. All right, let's tear through the next pack. So now we got our rare. Oh, whoops. We have our rare foil. We have the Mistrant of Obligation. We have Cry of the Carnarium. Dovin's Acuity, and Ethereal ob 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 Absolution could, could and Azorius Guildgate. Our shows could, could play Esper would be useful there. Oh, yeah. No, they, that's not saying that that shotgun has no use. It has a lot of use, and I'm sure with War of the Spark releasing, it's going to have even more use. I just, I've never played it personally myself so i don't uh i don't have any reason to even want to keep the card other than it has some really nice foiling all right rhythm of the wild enraged saratok mockery and our rare a growth chamber guardian very nice i, I actually um I definitely underrated that card when it came out. I thought, okay, it's going to be a little decent card. It adepts. It's going to be great. Hey, MTG Dude is here. Look what we pulled, MTG Dude. You're going to love this. So far, real quick recap of our sauciest stuff. We have our two Mythics, Dovin and a Hellkite, and then our Foil Rare, a Foil Hollowed fountain absolutely gorgeous and we pulled two other shop lands as well all right let's pop open this pack all right windstorm drake again another frilled mystic right following it right after that incubation and our rare is a Biomancer's Familiar. Oh, my shaky hand can't. Very cool, cre creepy looking card. Looks almost like a Nomu from My Hero Academia. Yeah. Looks real creepy. 
All right, we're about halfway through the box right now. We pulled three shop lands and two mythics, so we're having a really good, uh, really good box so far. Oh, I just keep putting all of these. All right, biogenic upgrade, essence capture, junk, junk. Is that junk, junked roller? And our rare is a gutter bones. And a foil Simic Guild Gate. Pretty cool. I have a foil version of all the Guild Gates already. I kept them just because they're so nice. Hey, Dan Wagner, J Guitar? Hey, it could be a Nobu, you never know. Don't ever count out the possibilities. Biogenic upgrade is so broken, lost countless times to it. Ash. Really? Let me see. Biogenic upgrade. Pay six. Distribute three plus one counters among one, two, or three counters. D uh, then double the number of creep. Okay, so you can give three creatures plus two, two. Plus anything that they already have with Adept. Wow, okay, yeah. It is a six drop, though, so... Um, so that's kind of expensive. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, we have a little discussion that to be had after this box is open, though, about the Patreon and about what we'll be doing in the future. Um, so that will be coming, but let's just get through this box first. Skatewing Spy, where are you at? Smelt Ward Ignis. Oh, I'll wait till you're done to read it. Swirling Torrent. And our rare is Naya of the Old Ways. And a foil uncommon gateway sneak. I love the rainbow on the... EDH, EDH Super Friends says, I played that in a super janky Simic Ascendancy deck. Not the best card, but it's definitely funny to double a Hydra. Oh, can you double the counters on the Ascendancy card? Because to me, that seems like it's absolutely insane. So if you have 10 counters on the Ascendancy card, you drop that, you win the game. But I don't know if that's how it works. You'd have to let me know. Because I think if that works that way just for the memes, I may as well just go ahead and try it out. All right. We have the Pitless Pontiff. The Resolute Watchdog. Gatebreaker Ram for that Gates deck. A. And our rare. Ooh, Judith the Scourge Diva. Absolute amazing card. At the end of the show, she stands alone on a stage, brilliant with blood. ED, EDH says, no, nah, but doubling the counters on your creatures still does the job. Oh, okay, so it does only double. Yeah, I'm sure it does do the job. It's just so cool to think that you could double up those counters and win the game that way. Getting those legendaries. Judge Judy. <laughs> Getting those legendaries in. Yeah, we've got a few. We have one, two. Oh, yeah, we, we pulled back to back. And let's see. Anything else legendary? I don't believe so yet. Nope, just those two. Except for, of course, the Planeswalkers are legendary. So let's see if we'll pull another legendary. Right, run through the commons. Dagger Caster. Save my butt at least twice in the draft of this set. High alert uncommon. Calade of Calamity. And our rare End Rays Forerunner. End Rays Forerunner. And just commons in the back. Alright, um I pulled that card, the last time I opened a booster box, I pulled that rare like five times, and I was so disappointed that I kept getting it. I was getting nothing. And I, I think I got like two, two shot lanes in that box. It was an absolutely depressing box. Um, okay. Is there codes? Oh, no, there's no codes. Oh, I didn't even know that the, that the Ravnica book was out. It was probably, it's probably been out for a while. And I want to read it because I want to know what's going on in Ravnica before Nicola Bullis comes and absolutely wipes them all out. Spoilers. All right. Orzov, 
Racketeer. Night of the Last Breath. Gates ablaze for those gates deck. Open two boxes of this. You could probably build an entire gates deck almost. And a Bedevil as our rare. I mean, that artwork. Just look at that. I think a lot of people talked about how sweet that artwork was when we first saw it. Uh, okay, get a gate and a spirit token. We still have to pull. We've only pulled two mythics so far, so I really hope the person that in the mythic slot does not get bummed out. All right, we still got a couple packs to open, though. We have that speedy 2-2 goblin. We have the exaltation. Spirits of the spires and our rare. Rick's Maddie revealer as our uh. rare. I love the artwork with the flaming skulls. Ash says B Devil is gonna come in handy for war, although it seems we're gonna get a lot of removal already. Oh, I guarantee you, because of War of a Spark and because of all the planeswalkers, we're gonna get insane amounts of of, uh, of board wipes. I think we're gonna get multiple cards just in that set alone that wipes the board completely. Dan Wagner guitar. I pulled my first foil and it was a Gates of Blaze. Did you really? Congratulations. That card looks insane in foil. I actually have one because I was trying to build a foil gates deck since it's so cheap. Um, congratulations. My first uh, my first mythic rare was a weatherlight. My first foil was a um, uh, right, rights of Illimac, I think it was. So very cool. All right. Hackrobat. Spire Mangler. Hey, focus. Plan to Guild Mage in our rare. Yes. Another mythic. <laughs> Should I sing another mythic like we have only have only pulled two? Sephira of the Scales. That is freaking sweet. The card is I've lost that card quite a few times on Arena already. Uh, four cost for flying for three. You can pay a white, gains Vigilance, and pay a black, and it gains Death Touch the end turn. And when it dies, Afterlife 2, create two 1-1 one, one flying uh, black and white token creatures. Can, it, can everyone remember their first mythics? Yeah, since, my, since mine was only so long ago, I can remember I can remember it was a Weatherlight, which I actually have. Hold on. Let me, let's get through this pack, and I'll show you. We'll take a little trip down memory lane of my favorite cards I have. Uh, in this little box over here. Eyes Everywhere is our first uncommon. Rumbling Ruin. Oh, here it is. This is the card I was talking about. It's an eight to adept, but it costs one less for every instance or sorcery in your grave, and you can make him a 5-5. Five five. EDH Super Friends. I got, at, I got Rail, Is It Viceroy, and Foil, Nullhide, Ferox in the same pack. That's absolutely insane. EDH super friend, your luck is... You need to be opening these packs for me, sir. Be but we got another Shockland Breeding Pool. Very cool. I love the artwork on this card. So that is cool. We have a fourth Shockland when you include the foil hollow fountain. Can't wait. Wow. Think about it. Think about the patrons that pay so little and get so much. I'm such a such a great person. No, I'm just kidding. But I am I'm more uh, just just the fact that you guys would spend your hard earned money to watch some nerdy kid open magic Finn. cards and have super have a lot of fun with it. It means a lot, and I would love to give back to you guys. Fan Phantom plays nine uh, five nine six that I would have to remember t to ten years ago if I want to remember my first mythic. Ten years ago, when well, you've been a dedicated... I mean, I know Magic's been around forever, but that's super Spanish. cool that you've been along. So you've been around Spanish. long enough. I think it was a Dormy raid. Uh, oh, Domry. Domry, My English is... Uh, my Spanish is not very good. No entiendo espanol, so see. Sí. So I can't, can't help you out much there. This admin... Didn't start buying decks until Dom Dominaria just built my cards, my decks card by card. We have Galloping 
Lizard, I actually did the same thing. For a long time, I only bought packs, and I never went out and bought cards, uh, singles. I only built my deck out of cards I could pull out of packs. Archway Angel, another gate card. We pulled one earlier. Combine Guild Mage, and our rare is a Font of Agonies. A lot of people had this card being some super amazing, game-changing card when it came out, and it turns out it's absolute. I don't see it anywhere, not anywhere at all, in any deck ever. All right, we only have a couple of packs left here. Oh, never mind. We have a couple more packs than I thought we had. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine packs left. We've got to pull at least at least one more Mythic and one more Shockland to make this box a cool, successful ultimate power box. If not, we just throw it all and burn it. Clamor Shaman, the Uncommon. Once again, a Concentrate Consume, Regenesis, and our rare Gruel Spellbreaker. Love the artwork on that card. Idiot Shiver Friends, that card has such promise inside it didn't take off. What, Font of Agonies? I know, because of the paying life. Now, now, listen here. Listen here, folks. Oh, another one. This card is, this card is black. Imagine that new Bolus Cinadel card we get. Whenever you pay life, put that many blood counters on this card. What do you guys think about this with uh, oh, that Bolus Cinadel? Dane Wagner says, Galloping Lizard was a good draft card for me at FNM. Paired with the right creatures, it can do some damage. Oh, yeah. Galloping Lizard is, is, is insane in draft. There's a, a lot of the adept creatures... We're really, really, really good in depth uh, oh, in draft. Ash said, it's a sh it is a shame it isn't just when you lose life. Ash, Ash Lord Draws says, didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. I already buying that card for Commander now. I'm buying two. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, Bolus of Cinadel, if I remember correctly, you can always cast the top card. You can always look at the top card of your deck and you can cast it. But by paying life for its convert mana cost. So let's say you get like a six drop. You cast it. You pay six life. You put six counters, six blood counters on Font of Agony, which is also a black card. And then you can remove four, uh, pay two and remove four to destroy a target creature. So you could be wiping out your opponent's whole board. Phantom Plays says, all I can think of is the Sensei, Sensei and the Aether Flux combo for Bolas Citadel. Bolo Sindel seems to be an insanely amazing card. Um, one thing I am bummed out about is that that new Niv Mizzet, Niv, as anyone knows, Niv Mizzet is my favorite uh, card. As you can uh, you can say, see the uh, Niv Mizzet figure I had to have. Um, he's my first like big boss creature I saw, and I was like, oh, I, I absolutely love that thing. Um, and the new one doesn't look very promising. I mean, it looks sick because it's one color of one color of each one of each color and then you get to cast like look at the top 10 cards of your deck and cast any multiples of whatever and add them to your hand but i don't know it doesn't seem crazy Ash, i'll have to actually see it i was literally playing for you isn't it spain is here god opening i appreciate it i was literally praying for hey ash lord draws i swear I swear on my life right now, I was telling my wife just the other day, I was like, they better make Niv Mizzet a planeswalker to help fight Bolas. Please, please make him a planeswalker. I would give anything. I would give my left shoe, my right shoe, anything. I'd give my arm. <laughs> give my arms, my legs, and the wizard said, ha, 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 we'll troll you. All right, moving on because we're rambling. Yeah, April Fool's. <laughs> Obligation. Junk troller. Incubation and our rare. A Cinder Vines, another gruel card. Gruely, gruely, gruely. Uh, so what does everyone's take on the new Planeswalkers that basically have the abilities of where they have the passive abilities? I think it's absolutely sick. EDH friend, super friend said, in EDH, the new Niv seems pretty powerful just for blinking him and playing Laboratory Maniac or the new Jace. Yeah, that's true. Um, I absolutely 
Um, I've, I, I'm not a modern player, but I know that there's all kinds of blinking and ways to get creatures on the battlefield just for one turn to activate their end to the battlefield triggers and stuff. So I'm sure it is. I just I've I'm a standard player, so I couldn't I couldn't give you advice either way. But I appreciate your insight there. Light up the stage is our first uncommon. Bell haunts is our second. Flames of the Razbar is our third, and our rare, a Mirror March. A very fun trolley card. Oh, can't show that yet. A very fun trolley card for, um... Oh, what is that? What is that deck? Oh, Gates. Gates. And a, another foil rare. An ethereal Absorption. So we actually got two foil rares at the same time. Ash, Ash Lord says... I like the idea as it's as as it plays into possibility using a planeswalker tribal. Look at that, two rare foils in the same pack. Hey retro, have a good day. Hi retro. Uh, depending on what time it is, where you are, sleep well, get lots of drink, lots of water, and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you in future videos. And make sure. If you're leaving now to go on YouTube, because this will be on YouTube later tonight, and um, and recap everything that you missed. All right, wow. Okay, so we got two foil rares, which is super insane. Three mythics, four shock lands, two mythic rare or two foil rares, and we still have like five or six packs to go. I can't count, so I can't tell you. All right. We have Consecrate and Consume. We have Trollbred Guardian. Cult Guild Mage and our rare is a Guardian Project. A super uh, uh, underwhelming card. I had no fun, no fun uh, pulling that card in my draft thinking it would be good because I'm only playing uh, one ofs and it turned out to not be as nearly amazing as I thought it would be. All right, another whoop, 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 whoop. cruel guild uh, beastmaster can't speak. Senate guild mage, scrabbling claws, and our rare. Oh, how about a mythic emergency powers? Ash says guardian project pretty good in singleton. Oh, NBA. I'm sure if you can build a full deck around it, it's got crazy potential. I just didn't have that in the draft. But a Mythic Emergency Powers. So now we've pulled four Mythics. And we got them zombie tokens ready for War of the Spark. The 2-2 zombie tokens that everyone will be needing for that amass ability. Then let me open a pack, boy. Right. Mistrant of Obligation. My camera guy says he wants to open a pack. The chat has to vote. Do we let him? Because he'll probably open it completely off camera. <laughs> but do we let him? Um, Ten Street Dodger. Forbidden Spirit. And our rare is... Unforbreakable Formation. Very sweet rare. And... A foil common blade juggler. Ash says, I built my partner a singleton elf deck and threw that in there. She literally swamped me in the deck and the card advantage. And card, yeah, because you draw, what do you draw Phantom. one every time, correct? And the Phantom says, let me open a pack. <laughs> you want to open a pack? Oh, let him open a pack. Yeah. Gotta read it as they say. All right, well, we have three packs left, and I'll even give him the honor of opening the last pack. Now, when you pull absolute garbage, Jonah, yeah. they're going to be mad. They're not going to be happy, and they're going to kick you out of it. You're going to be banned. All right. Clear the stage. Rakdos Firewheeler. Orzob Enforcer. And our rare, Kea, Kea's Wrath. Sick, sick artwork. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing card in War of the Spark. Uh, maybe not so much because it uh, destroys all creatures, but it doesn't destroy new planeswalkers. Ash says the power pack is yours, 
Cameron North. The power pack is yours, camera guy. Well, they have faith in you. They have faith in you. All right, one more pack for me, and the camera guy will go ahead and do his thing. All right. Bullrock Clan Crusher. Tower Defense. Finks of the Guild Pack. And my last rare to you guys, a Tenth Taker. Tenth Taker. Card I thought I would see a lot more of. Did not see a lot of play so far in Standard, unfortunately. I would open it. Is there... It's 9 or 10 cards to totally. Which one? Just look for all the commons. All right, camera guy. Sit down. Let's open it. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll even get professional and, and help you out here. And I actually have to get the computer set up so that we can do random.org. So, for the Patreons, so we do everything live. I walk these. away with for one second. <laughs> these, right? What? These. Okay. Gotta close I, this I up. Barely open it back. Bring this to the camera like this. Mm -hmm. Now put your finger on the top, right here, and pull mm -hmm. the card. Yeah. So that's a mortify. Okay. The other uncommons. Okay. Cry of the Canarium. A Dovin's Acuity and the rare, the Utopian Speaker, which is a bust. You're a bust. You're a bust, I tell oh, you. Man. All right. We'll sit here and talk to the camera for a second. They need people to talk to while I get this random.org set up here, for the Patreon. Hello. 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 One legendary from each guild with that pool. All right, Patreons, Patreons, Patreons. Thank you. Relationship manager. All right, so here we are. One, two, three, four, I five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten. The eleven Patreons. We actually just got a Patreon that since this morning. Ash, cool. Ashes, Liliana, Dread, Horde, General. Yes, that Liliana is absolutely sick. Got to got equip him with the helm, helm of the host. All right, guys. We're going to transport on live over to my screen right here. We're still getting everything set up, so bear with me as we get everything set up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, if you notice that everything is not the right screen for this, but uh, we've been having some issues getting a monitor that supports this computer's resolution it's super strange okay so i thought we had random.org open oh we do so we have 11 patreons so we're gonna go here max of 11 and ready oh whoops max of 11 we're gonna hit generate number seven that is one two three four five six one two three four five six seven michael just michael Congratulations, Just Michael. You just won all of the Mythics that we pulled today. Jonah, if you'd like to go grab me the pile of Mythics, we will show them off quickly. We will not say anyone's Patreon rank, how much they pay or anything. I don't think that that's right in any regard. I think we're missing. You're missing one. Okay. These three 
with a Hellkite whelp that he is, for some reason, is missing. But, so you want a emergency powers, Sephira of the Scales, Dovin Grand Arbiter, there you go. and the Hellkite, which the lighting is super weird over here. Super awesome. Now, Jonah, if you'd like to grab me all the rares, including, including the shock lands, put the shock lands up front. We're going to go ahead and generate another number. Doubles can't win, so if it's seven again, sorry, Michael. Eleven. 11, 11, 11. Tucker Grochowski. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And hopefully you don't live in Russia because shipping will be a pain. Okay, Tucker, congratulations. You just won a buttload of money in cards or value, depending on how you, uh, how you like it. Gathering Wizards, that's you? Really? Congratulations, man. You just won... Um, well, we have... Where's the foil? One. Yep, yeah, you should have one more. Or maybe I, maybe I don't have that sleeved, so it's over here somewhere. Yes, yes, that one. So, Tucker. Or, no, yeah, Tucker. You got the Eternal Absolution. I don't know why the lighting looks so weird here. The foil. Foil hollowed uh, fountain... Uh, what? Three more? Three more shock lands. Three more shock lands. And a absolute sick mess of rares. That if you've been watching or you can go back, this will be on YouTube. You just won a boatload of money back in your cards. So congratulations, my dude. All right. And the last winner for the uncommons lot. You, you pick first 36 uncommons goes directly to you. And that is number six. Number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Koi Wittaton. Koi Wittaton, please. Do not, do not. Oh, not Tucker. I'm Michael. Well, just Michael, Gathering Wizards. Congratulations on your mythic pool. Does not matter either way, because I had to show that off for, uh, for Michael or for, for Tucker. Now you've confused me. Dang it. All right. Well, Koi Wittaton. Sorry if I... W Widon. Oh, yeah. There's no T there. <laughs> my camera guy's correcting my terrible uh, English. I don't speak Spanish or English. Look at that. Koi Widon. Widon. Uh, your pick of any of the uncommons we picked. Chances are, if it's an uncommon in the set, we pulled it. So if you want to go ahead and just look at the Ravnica uncommons, message me, and hopefully... We will, uh, hopefully you get some good stuff. Let me know. But we'll ship out the first 36 you want directly to you. And, all right, one more thing. We're going to go ahead and bring it right back over to the setting that we shoot at. One more thing before, one more thing before we go today. Since it's going on YouTube, I guess it's very important that you guys... Uh, whether you're watching live or you're watching on YouTube that you listen to this. Okay, so I'm very, very happy with how the Patreon's turning out. Um, I, I assume the first six months I won't uh, – not, not, don't understand. Understand. It is not my intention uh, – not my intention to rob the magic community of tons of money or anything like that. So when I say that I'm losing money or making money, it's, it's not in that context. It's simply that – I'm as of right now, obviously, I'm giving you guys a booster box for free, and all the Patreons are getting product as well. So, for the first six months, I plan on losing tons of money. After the first six months, I hopefully to stop the bleeding. I really just want to break even. If, if I actually make a little money, hopefully, I can put it back into more product. Um, I'm, and I say all of this to say that I hope that if you share and you become Patreons, that. If we, I think if we get to 10 Patreons in each tier, the overflow of how much money I would make is enough to buy like a Legends booster pack. You know, like a $500, $600 booster pack and I would break even and then I'd be able to open that on camera or send that to one lucky Patreon or something. So, so, uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. I want this Patreon to be awesome fun and I just want to break even. I don't want to make money, but I hate losing money. So please... Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, share the Patreon, share the YouTube. 
yada, yada, yada. But most importantly, uh, something I thought about that I want you guys' feedback on, I'm currently making an official poster for it um, right now. And that is a magic type, uh, like, a, like a loot box. Now I've seen that there's been some done before and most of them have failed dramatically because they're usually done by companies that just stuff their overstock in there and don't care and just wanna make a profit. Not at all with me. Sure, would I like to make a couple bucks each one? That way my time is not absolutely gutted by doing this, especially if it grows and grows. So I was thinking of doing a magic box. I was thinking about doing three separate magic boxes that would be available on the Patreon, but you would just PayPal me and I would ship it out to you. Uh, this would probably be a once a month type thing. And um, so we have three tiers for that. We have the $150 tier, the $100 tier, and the $50 tier. Um, this would be an inc a complete random assortment of different products that, that I have. And this would be whatever, this would be Dominaria, uh, Battle for Zendikar. It could be anything. Don't assume it's just going to be the crap that no one wants. I'm going to try to stuff it with some awesome things. Maybe I have a second Niv Mizzet. Um, I'm, I, I could potentially give that away and one of the boxes as a huge bonus. Maybe do one box a month that's like a super box where it comes with like a booster box in it or something. But some of the ideas I have are uh, bundles and fat packs, booster packs in different quantities depending on which one you get planeswalker decks sleeves and premium sleeves like dragon shield deck boxes and premium deck boxes like the higher end ones dice like regular spin downs uh also the giant dice because a lot of people are saying that they are in demand uh let's see life counters the little turn style life counters or even the anthology ones where they spin um t-shirts or t-shirts or maybe clothes magic related uh, the starter kits, the toolkits, um, singles, maybe chalking it with a couple. Maybe I pull in my spare time, I pull a really cool mythic rare or rare and it's worth a couple bucks. I, I put those in there. Dual decks and maybe even bulk cards that I have laying around. I can also put in there. Um, and that's just and that's just um, and that's just some ideas of something I would like to really do for the channel. I really guys want your feedback on that kind of stuff. And um, that's about it. Um, the only other thing. I could think of is we we're talking about our first cards that we ever got and mine for some reason cannot find it in here oh here it is my weather light the first mythic I ever pulled uh, obviously I knew nothing about the game didn't know what it did no so I'll just it's a four five for four it's amazing I can just destroy everything with it <laughs> and then I quickly realized that it is not that. Uh, it's, I mean, it's very powerful, just not that powerful. Um, and that's it, you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Anthony from Ajani's MTG signing out.